Hello everyone, this is Naomi. Today I will give a presentation on Solintec OGS 1.5 to 3.3 kW the single phase grid connected inverter. This presentation will include the following five parts. Highlights, appearance, structure, key parameters, and the application scenarios. Okay, let's come to our first part, the highlights. This page shows the brief introduction of what is grid-connected inverter and the working principles. Grid-connected inverter, it converts the DC power generated by PV stream into AC power. The AC power will supply the loads first and then feed the excess power to the grid if there are any. On the contrary, when the inverter is insufficient to supply the loads, the power grid will fill the gap. So grid-connected system it doesn't have any kinds of solar panel storage system and no batteries. So this page shows the highlights of the OGS. First one, we have the industrial leading efficiency up to 97.5%, which means the high power generation. And for PV input current, it is 15 ampere. So we can connect with the big current PV panels in the market. And then it is 110% continuous output overloading. So inverters can generate more power. Next is low start voltage, 60 volt. Inverter is, has the longer working hours. And then the inverter is designed with the eye light indicator. Customers can clearly to know the operating modes according to the different colors of the eye light. Also, we have the applied plane terminals, very quick and convenient to install it. You can see the inverter, it has a multifunctional OLED display. Customers can easy to read data and do some basic configurations through the OLED display. And then customers can do the 24 hours smart loads consumption monitoring and the retrieve the export limit if they are needed. And then this inverter is compact design with the lightweight only 6 kg. No sleeve operation, keep quiet with no fan design. Its protection degree is IP65, so it, it can be installed indoors and outdoors. Okay, this page we have strength the highlights again. 50 ampere PV input, the low start voltage and the watt leading efficiency and the 110% continuous output overloading and the lightweight. All these are the key highlights of the OGS. Okay, let's come to the second part, the appearance. Now what you see is the front photos of the OGS. The first one we have the breeze light. Yeah, it is shows the power and alarm status. The second one is the grid indicators, shows the grid status. This one is a communication indicator, shows the communication with the surveyor. And we have OLED display, so you can check data and do some configurations through this button. Okay, this page shows the different color of the eye light, shows the different working status. If the eye light is off, the gray means no AC output. If it is blue, means normal. If red, means the fault occurs. This page shows the right side and dimensions of the OGS. So in the top, this is the bank higher. So when you do the installation, you can hang the inverter on the fixed bracket. This one is external grounding terminal. When you do the cable connection, before DC and AC cable connection, you need to install the external grounding terminal. And this part is the name plan. You can find the serious numbers, the key parameters, and, and the check code on the name plan. And the right part is the dimension. So inverter is very small and lightweight. One people can hold it easily. So this page shows the terminal appearance of the OGS. From left to right, we can see this one is DC switch. This part is PV terminal for connecting PV panels. So the COM1 part 
is for connecting the communication modules such as Wi-Fi, the LAN module, and the 4G module. The CAM2 port for connecting the meter RS-485, CT, or DIED. And we also have the AC output terminal. Okay, let's come to the third part, the structure. For grid connected inverter, the structure is much simple. So one PV string connected to OGS, and the bus compressor will storage the boosted PV power, and the OGS will convert the DC power generated by the PV into single phase AC power through an inverter circuit. So surge protection (SPD) is ported on both DC and AC side. So this page we can see the internal circuit design. More than 80% of the core components are from world leading brands and it is last generation. So this will ensure the high efficiency and high reliability of the inverters working. Okay, the next part is key parameters. So this page shows the PV input parameters. The start voltage is very low, only 60 volt. So compared to similar products, it's lower for the PV panels start generation earlier and longer. The MPPT voltage range is 50 volt to 450 volt. It is wider and wider range, so can adapt to various PV configurations. More PV generation in the same installation condition. Inverter's input current max to 50 ampere. It can connect with the big current panel, such as 182 mm. So about the PV energy limited by the low input current. And this page shows the key parameters of AC output. We can see that the rated output power 1.5, its max output power is 1.65, so it supports continuous 110% AC outloading enabling more power generation when there is enough PV. This page shows what the benefits that the PV input 50 ampere can bring to customers. In the right part, we have collected several brands of PV panels, the big current PV panels. So their current can up to 13 ampere or 14 ampere. If you use the big current PV panels and use the inverter, that is PV input is lower than 15 ampere, such as 11 ampere or 12.5 ampere. The current will be limited by the inverter, thus will cause the power loss. But if you use the Solintec OGS, we have the 15 ampere PV input. It will let the current of PV panels come into inverter perfectly no power loss, no, no limited. And this page shows the 60 volt startup voltage, what the benefits they can bring to customers. If the, the startup voltage is lower, PV panels will start work earlier and stop later in the evening, thus enables longer working hours a day. And generally, a PV panel is operation voltage is about 14 volt. Two peaks of PV panels is enough to start the inverter. So there are many protections integrated in our inverter, such as DC reverse polarity protection, over temperature, overload, over voltage, and short circuit protection. All these are integrated in inverter. So it is safe for the equipment working and safe for the installation or maintenance people. Inverters can work in reliable, long lifetime. This page shows our inverter have the function of fast stop. Fast stop means we can stop the inverter with a press when an accident occurs and a world system damage being enlarged. There are two interfaces inside of the inverter. If customer want to have this function, they can connect it an external device, the fast stop device, with the two interfaces. Through this method, this function can be realized. And this page shows the excellent heat dissipation of our OGS. Generally, they are three parts. The first one, some major heat dissipation components such as inductors, capacitors, and power tubes.
We have located them near the edge of the inverter shell and close to the back heat seat, which can directly dissipate heat. The second one is that the inverter is designed with horizontal. It has shorter heat dissipation channel, which is good for the heat quickly dissipated. And next, the aluminum A-line die casting shell and aluminum heat sink, they have the high thermal conductivity. The good heat dissipation compatibility can expand the lifetime of the inverter. So it's very important. Okay, let's come to the last part, application scenarios. The first one is the general scenario. So usually you just need one inverter, yeah, PV string, loads and grid. But if you want the to realize the export limit, you need to buy MCT. If you want to do the export limit and to monitoring the 24 hours load consumption, besides of the CT, you also need a smart meter. The yeah, IMK. Last one is the system extension scenarios. If you already have an energy storage system and you want to expand it, it and connect one more PV string inverter. So you can connect the two inverters together. ACSI is connected together, but you need to use two smart meters. One is IMM for monitoring the hybrid inverter. Another is IMK for monitoring the PV string inverter, also the OGS. So for more details, you can connect our Solintech technicians or Solintech Academy. Thanks for your listening.